I'm Jonathan W. Hickman, and I'm joined this week by my wife, Maggie, and you're watching The Film Fix. On this episode, we're going to talk about some of the biggest films that are opening this season and some of the ones that are vying for best of honors. Um, the biggest, perhaps probably one of the biggest movies of December is a movie called The Chronicles of Narnia, Voyage of the Dawn Treader. So let's get things started by taking a look at that film. Lucy, have you seen this ship before? Yes. It's very Narnian looking, isn't it? Yeah. Well, just another reminder that we're here and not there. There once were two orphans who wasted their time believing in Narnian nursery rhyme. What's so fascinating about that picture anyway? It's hideous. Edmund, it looks like the water's actually moving. What rubbish, see? That's what happens when you read all those fanciful novels and fairy tales of yours. Edmund, the painting! <laughs> oh, the smash the wrong thing! No! Help me! Let go! Ow! 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 It's alright! I got you! Caspian! Lucy! It's alright, boy! So that was a clip from uh, The Voyage of the Dawn Treader, which is another adaptation of a C.S. Lewis novel, uh, the first of which was back in 2005. That is the first U.S. live-action mm -hmm. remake. I believe uh, you watched some uh, of those in the BBC produced years yeah. ago? Yeah, many years ago when I was um, at middle school. I think it was the beginning of middle school. Um, I watched a few of them, didn't really get into it with the competition and what else was on TV at that time. It didn't win me over. Um, well, we had an animated uh, version yeah, of it here. That. Yeah, I didn't it was, know it was it animated. was pretty good. I mean, they had uh, an animated uh, Lord of the Rings, and then they also had an animated um, uh, Chronicles of Narnia, and right. both of them were pretty good. Uh, after the 2005, uh, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe uh, made some 754 yeah. or so billion or million dollars not billion million dollars worldwide uh they knew they had to make a sequel it took them a few years to do it in 2008 they made that movie prince, prince caspian, caspian. Yeah. Did yeah do very well did it yeah it didn't do that well it was like mm -hmm. you know 400 million or so worldwide which was pretty good it, it didn't capture me as much as you can talk about harry, a harry potter movie or something well you know the interesting you know. thing about the difference between harry potter and then the c.s uh, lewis universe is that the harry potter universe isn't a christian allegory necessarily whereas um certainly the lion the witch and the wardrobe was a direct christian allegory it played very well uh with christian audiences and i, I think never, that's I why i knew that yeah you know, yeah too. definitely uh, c.s lewis was a theolo theolo theologian so you know it was a it was a movie that uh, that definitely brought in a big uh, a big audience. Now the second movie was much narrower, and I think right. that's why it didn't make as much money. Right. Yeah. I think a lot of people are looking forward to this one. Well, I, I think so. I think that it's probably going to open uh, to a very big weekend. Uh, Harry Potter was already knocked off its perch by Tangled, yeah. uh, at least early on. And so uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, there's a lot of competition for the family audience. A movie that I've seen that I'm really excited about is a David O. Russell film called The Fighter. This movie stars um, Christian Bale, Mark Wahlberg, and Amy Adams, as well as Melissa Leo, who uh, sort of broke through and uh, made us aware of who she was when she made a movie called Frozen River a few years ago uh, that made a pretty big splash uh, at Sundance. This movie is really raw. Me, what's the problem? The problems. What problems? Well, well drum. Problems what like problems? what? Like maybe you not showing up on time to train. Like maybe him having to come find you in a crack house when you're supposed to be at the airport. <sighs> I'm sorry. I don't know who you are. Why are you talking? I'm Charlene. We just met. <laughs> We're together. Do we need to do this again? Hi, I'm Charlene. 
Hi, I'm Charlene. Charlene. Hi, I'm Charlene. Hey, Charlene. we're together. What are you going to do, Mick? Listen to some MTV girl works in a bar? What does she know about boxing? I know. They're going to Vegas and getting paid to train year round. Sounds a hell of a lot better than what you got him doing here. You gonna let her talk like that to your mother? Come on, Mickey. I told you, we're together. This is my girlfriend. I want her here. I have done everything. Everything I could for you, Mickey. This MTV girl comes along. Yeah, stop calling me an MTV girl, whatever that means. She's wild. The Fighter is a movie that tracks the life of Mickey Ward uh, and his brother, Dickie Eklund. Uh, Dickie Eklund is played by Christian Bale, although I think probably from the clip we just watched, you wouldn't probably recognize him. This is the guy, after all, who played Batman. And uh, I don't think a lot of people realize this, but, uh, you know, I think when they think of uh, Christian Bale after they think of Batman, they think of his expletive-ridden rant uh, from the Terminator Salvation set uh, that made the YouTube rounds. Uh, he was in this movie called The Machinist. And what he did in The Machinist, he's also done here in The Fighter, he lost an insane amount of weight. And we know he's a rather fit guy. Uh, certainly he plays Batman. He probably doesn't even need to wear the suit. And yet, uh, in uh, in this movie... Oh, yeah, I did. No, in, no, I never thought of him as a fit guy. Well, he's certainly fit in the Batman movies. And in this movie, he is a crack addict. This movie takes place in the 90s when HBO, and they still do, but when HBO showed all the great fights. And what was neat about it is that they used, I believe, the soundtrack from the HBO fights that Mickey Ward had, uh, and then they kind of recreated the visuals uh, using the actors. Mickey Ward is 31 years old. He's here because he needs the money. Look at the size of that guy. He's got 20 pounds on me, Dickie. You don't fight, nobody gets paid. And so you have this real, real looking uh, fight sequences that I don't think I've seen uh, this way before. So this isn't like Rocky, necessarily. It wasn't another Rocky then. Oh, no, I, I haven't seen No, it's not. It's certainly movie. about an underdog. Mm -hmm. It's certainly about, you know, well, the unconventional Rocky fighter. Was too a bit. Oh, absolutely. Well, I'm saying that, it, it, yeah. it, it certainly is a Rocky like story, right. but it's a story of family overcoming adversity and pulling together uh, for, for what, what, what is, is, is really right as a opposed to greed and everything else. So, right. yeah, this is a really good story. Uh, I'm not sure that it's the best movie of the year, but I think it contains certainly some of the best performances of the year, uh, centering, of course, on, uh, on uh, Christian Bale. Not so controlled. Seduces. Not just the prince, but the court, the audience, the entire world. Come on. The fuerte are like a spider spinning a web. Attack it. Attack it. Come on. Good of you to join us. Sorry. Girls, this is Lily. Straight off the plane from San Francisco. She's filling Rebecca's old spot. Hey. Get warmed up. No, it's okay. I'm good. Should I go again? No, thanks, and I've seen enough. Okay. Veronica, the white swan variation. Come on, come on, come on, please. All right, maestro, two, three. You saw uh, Black Swan, uh, the movie about the ballet dancer. It yes. kind of looks like a horror movie or something. Well, uh, what somebody, did you think about that? Somebody suggested to me they saw the trailer and thought it was a horror movie, which I quickly put them straight that it's not. Um, it's uh, reading about other what other people have written. They, they're plus it's a thriller, psychological thriller. Um, well, it's I... certainly got some of those elements. I mean, this is a Darren Aronofsky film, and I know you probably aren't too familiar with his work, but you did see The Wrestler. That's the one with um, uh, with Mickey Rourke, uh, sort of slingshotted his career back. Uh, Darren Aronofsky gave us a movie called The Fountain. Uh, before that, the movie that is very similar in tone, I think, to this movie is a movie called Requiem for a Dream that came out a few years ago. That's a, about uh, all different levels of drug use. Um, it's a it, this 
this this movie, um, Black Swan, is so unusual, so I, I, strange, no, so I, alien. I don't think it is. You didn't think so? No. I thought it was. I think most I, people think it's no, cold and I think strange. Being a you know having doing ballet at such a young age, at four years old, and you go and watch. I remember going to watch. Um, Swan Lake and the Nutcracker. And that's what young, this is about, it, yes, Swan Lake. A, mm -hmm. a new as, interpretation um, of it. As a child and um, doing ballet, you want to be that person on the stage. And the character in the movie obviously has been doing ballet since she was, I, I guess, you know, to be that level, probably four years old. But you get to a certain point when you're doing ballet, and I'm guessing not a lot of people know would know this, but you, wh however much you train or dedicate your life to it by the time you get to the age of 15 if you're not a certain weight if you're not a certain height you are not going to make it I really empathized with her in the movie about her passion and her drive and how it it it, it took control of her which was a bad thing well let's give the thumbnail on what the movie's about the movie is Black Swan directed by Darren Aronofsky it stars um, uh, Winona Ryder is in it but it yeah. stars Natalie Portman uh, Winona Ryder is in it um, and uh, Mila Kunis from that 70s show is in it uh, as well as Vincent Casal who plays the uh, the director of the company of dancers um, the, uh, the the fellow he plays is a guy named Leroy or Leroy and he um, uh, chooses Natalie Portman to head his interpretation of Swan Lake, uh, where he wants, uh, you know, the there's the black swan and the white swan. He wants that duality. And uh, Vincent Casal's character, the the director of the company, uses his own sexuality to try and inspire his his uh, his uh, dancers. And I'm not really sure whether or not he's hitting on the women or if what's he what he's doing is just trying to uh, direct in the way he thinks is appropriate. Oh, oh. Or if it was all in in her head her mind to, that's a, it's yes. a strange thing Barbara Hershey plays her mother and I'm not sure whether or not the mother is actually alive in the movie I mean that it may be that I, that character is imagined it's I a strange think she film was, and her her drive to be what she wanted to be and to reach perfection was quite interesting because I don't feel it was driven by her mother who she the character in the movie was in a single parent environment so it was just her and her mother and um, her so the perfection was driven by the Nina yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Nina, Nina Sayers her, her, the character's name is Nina um, by herself and where it overcame her and to the point of Delusions. Well, I mean, it's it's certainly the uh, the best ballet movie since uh, Robert Altman's The Company with Nev Campbell. Uh, I guess that's saying something. Uh, good performances. A strange movie is what I think. I didn't get my yeah. fix from it necessarily. I, 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 I uh, had it, you know, maybe a warped sense of empathy empathy for for the character. Well, talking about empathy. There is this movie that is called 127 Hours that we saw. Yeah. And this, is a, this has got to be one of the uh, most difficult films to, that I saw this year. Uh, it's about a guy who is out in the desert and he's, uh, he's walking through a crevice or whatever and he falls and a big rock falls with him. Uh, well, here, let's, let's take a look at a clip. <clears throat> Ugh. <sighs> 